This is a short series about what sound looks like. And here in front of you is a cladney plate. A cladney plate is simply a metal plate balanced on top of a vibration generator. When certain frequencies are sent to the plate, one can observe nodal patterns. There are plenty of videos on YouTube showcasing beautiful nodal patterns, but it's important to understand what they are. They're mathematically bound to Schrodinger's equation when you're dealing with atoms that only have one electron. In other words, these patterns are cryptic messages from reality itself. Depending on how you look at it, they might be the most significant designs we'll ever lay eyes on. Now, the sound that I'm pumping through this plate, it's pretty loud and horrible, and I apologize to anyone who's been within 200 feet of my workshop in the last week. But the good news is, I finally sorted out publishing to allow me to freely use my music as the flashbulb here on this channel. So plug in some headphones, take a deep breath, and enjoy the show. While nodal patterns are nothing short of fascinating when shaping sand and salt on a cladney plate, they're not all that dynamic. Fluid is much more dynamic and complex, but that creates a few optical challenges. What you're seeing right now is not only recorded at 1,000 frames per second, or 41.7 times slower than the speed I was observing them at, but since virtually all lights flicker with alternating current 60 times per second, I had to use deep learning to correct the exposure on the cooldown frames. Otherwise, it looks like this. I was actually blown away by the different results from the high-speed camera and the overhead camera with a normal speed 180-degree shutter. Nodal patterns appear differently depending on how you manipulate the fourth dimension when observing them.
I really wanted to be able to observe these patterns better in real time, and one way I found to slow the results down was replacing my medium of water and ink with non-Newtonian fluid with a wet ink layer above it. Non-Newtonian fluid is really weird and something any physics curious person should make from time to time. When you get a mixture of cornstarch and water just right, the fluid becomes more rigid with force. If you slowly pour it out, it'll behave more like water. If you punch or stab it, it'll behave more like an impenetrable solid. Non-Newtonian fluid doesn't immediately mix with other fluids. It guides them. So rather than creating large animated blobs, I'd rather see the nodal patterns with an ink layer.
I really wanted to see something familiar. And after many hours of trial and error, modulating the resonant frequency of the fluid by variations of its nth term, finally, trees, or Lichtenberg figures, or Fibonacci word fractals, or whatever you want to call these beautiful things, they appeared before my eyes. If you asked me to retrace my steps and create this again using the same recipe, the same frequencies, the same container, the same numbers, I doubt I could pull it off. My method, much like the rest of the universe, was just too chaotic to replicate. I really do hope that the peaceful chaos in this video distracted you or gave you a break from the much more stressful chaos happening in the world right now. And in the larger scheme of things, is one chaos any more or less meaningful than the other? And how do you think that that chaos behaves when left unobserved? If you like this video or if you learned anything, subscribe to my channel. This is actually the first video where I could use my own released music without publishing issues. So if you liked what you heard, there's a song list and some links to where you could buy it or listen to it on Spotify below in the description. You could also follow me on Instagram or other social medias to see what I am geeking out about on a day-to-day -day basis. Finally, a big thank you to Blackmagic Design for some of the incredible camera gear that allows me to make videos like this. And a big thank you to you for lending me part of your day. Bye.